It's been more than 10 days since a North Korean soldier made a desperate dash across the joint security area in the demilitarized zone to escape the repressive regime. After being shot multiple times by his former comrades, the defector is recovering well, but doctors have expressed concerns about the long-term health effects of his injuries. Yun Xin starts us off. After two major surgeries and days in intensive care, the North Korean soldier who risked his life fleeing to the south is making a swift recovery at Aju University Hospital in Suwon, south of Seoul. The 24-year-old soldier, identified only by his family name, Oh, was shot five times by his former comrades when he sprinted across the military demarcation line on November 13th. However, Dr. Lee Guk Jong, who led the surgeries on the soldier, says he could suffer long-term health problems, such as blockage of the intestines, known as intestinal obstruction, due to a number of his organs being penetrated by bullets. Considering his condition, the doctor has suggested the defector shouldn't go through official questioning for at least another month. For now, the defector is set to be resting, enjoying TV shows like the American crime investigation series CSI and Hollywood movies, and listening to some of his favorite K-pop singers on repeat. With hospital staff, the former soldier also shared his experience on having driven Hyundai vehicles back in the north. Meanwhile, following the defection, North Korea appears to be tightening its border security. A picture posted on Twitter by Mark Knapper, the acting U.S. ambassador to South Korea, shows North Korean workers digging a trench on the northern side of the joint security area. Yoon Shin, Arirang News.